Hey everybody, welcome back to Weed Craft Inc. We are selling almost explicitly Blue Dream, Granddaddy Purple, Super Lemon Haze between Flint and Boulder. Uh, we have more important things on the go right now though. Uh, there's a crackdown and we need to blackmail Commissioner Fernandez to, fly, to fire one of her police officers. Uh, there's two police officers in town right now. If we take a look here, we've got uh, Mr. Polanski. And over at uh, Meal One, we've got Horace Sullivan. So while both of these things are kind of running rampant, I'm going to start with these guys and uh, just get them to kind of ignore what we're what we're doing here. Let's just get them up to friendly status. Uh, father from Poland seems good. Never received any promotion. Oh, that must be frustrating. Where is that? Refuse promotions. Yeah, that's so frustrating, Mr. Polanski. God. Hey, I've got a favor to ask you. How about you help me out as a friend here and you don't worry about anything that we're doing? Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Now, the other guy. Sullivan. Same deal. We're already familiar. But let's just get these guys off of our backs a little bit, shall we? Familiar. Let's go education. Used to study law. Okay. Let's do that. Loves it. Okay. Mr. Sullivan, I got a favor for you too. Please ignore everything that's happening around town. Beautiful. So now all the places, it's only these two officers, right? So uh, wherever we're working, they are not going to do anything to us, which is super nice. However, we actually need to blackmail her to fire one of these guys. <laughs> Uh, tough, tough job. Somebody's got to do it. So we wanted to talk. Let's start by introducing ourselves. And the favor we need to ask is to get rid of one of the officers. Now, we got Polanski here. He's an older gentleman. He's probably coming up on retirement. Probably has a lot saved up in his 401k. We got Sullivan over here, who's probably newer on the job and has his whole life ahead of him. So maybe he's the one we pick. Uh, either way, we're a bad person. Now, uh, we can... Either try to convince them by finding dirt, so we don't know any of this person's dirt, investigate more about them to see if they're hiding something, or we can try paying them. Uh, success depends on money, current motivation, and relationship with you. Motivation's fine. Relationship could be better. And if we take a look here, this is a lot of cash that we would need to offer. I don't want to make a whole bunch of lowball offers because I don't know what that could result in. Uh, in terms of her friendship. So I think what we're going to want to do is try and find some dirt. Now, the only way I know how to do that is by having one of our guys, like, investigate her. I'm going to see if we can just get the friendship up a little bit. Not sure if that's very important, but... And she's not interested in anything. Okay, family. She'll talk about family. I'll talk one more time here. Consider herself a stylish lady. Oh, great. Okay. So we're best buds. We're best buds. Um, we need to find dirt on her. So what we can do is we can have our employees actually dig up dirt on people. And we want to pick employees that have those interpersonal skills. It affects proficiency in gathering info as well as their ability to avoid tough situations during smuggling assignments. I'm pretty sure that only, yeah, it's only Mark that has this. So we're going to have him gather info on her. Uh, but I've got him on too many jobs. So let's remove him from maybe this front office here. We'll put her in there. And let's gather some info, shall we? I'm just looking at other potential employees. I think we're okay right now. We could pay to expand employees as well. It's not a bad idea. But, uh, Mark, let's have you just gather some info there. And once we have info here, we can then investigate it for $2,000. And we can see if it's dirt, I guess. We can also select up to three pieces of info, but the cost goes up. So let's try and find something sketchy, and then we will investigate it. While that's happening, we can try to make a little bit of money here. We've got $21,000. Now... Let's take a look at our current operations. 
So here we've got um, an illegal sales thing going. We've got medical licenses happening here. We've got the dispensary in front. Uh, what are we growing here? We're growing Granddaddy Purple. We have space to expand another uh, grow room, but it's like half of our current money. Let's see. Grandfather was an illegal immigrant. Is that a thing we need to worry about? I feel like no, but who knows? Okay. Mark this piece of info if you think it might be part of a person's dirt. Yeah, I guess not. So let's keep going. And we're growing Super Lemon Haze. Let's see where we're selling. So we're selling over here. I just want to check our competition. Everything's fine here. Like, we're kind of gouging on price. I'm going to continue to gouge on price. Oh, look at this. So your price modifiers can now... I don't know what's causing that exactly. But usually this is maxed out at... Oh, that's actually insane. That's usually max us out at 1.5 in either direction. Oh, maybe it's... Okay, maybe in the positive it can always go down, but it can only get so good kind of thing. All right. Let's go up to here. I think that's fine. We could even go up to 20 bucks if we wanted, but... Let's go... Let's stay where we're at, at 17. And we're just waiting for him to reveal some info for us. While that's happening, I'm trying to decide where we may want to expand. Favorite color is green. Come on, Mark. If I go here... So Blue Dreams run out and isn't produced. That we know, because we're, we're bringing that in. Uh, let's just take that opportunity to go back to Boulder. And I guess we'll just smuggle more of it in. We've got 1.28 kilos here. How close are we to the next batch? I'll help these guys where I can. New info's developed. Haunted by an old case. That's gotta be juicy. Let's go. Dirt investigation in progress. I love it. I love it. So this is like, this happens without advancing time. Haunted by an old case. Okay, so not dirty. Or is it? Check mark. Uh, okay. Let's go back and have a little conversation. Let's do this. Boulder. We'll smuggle what we have. So 5% here. Got 500 per batch. Um, do something like this. And you know what? For the extra risk, I'm going to take this out because it's not even a full batch. Um, Jared's, he's got our highest interpersonal here. Yeah. So we're going to have him do it. We'll go in the off-road car. It's a little bit more expensive. But uh, at the lowest risk, I think it's probably worth, because this could get pretty... If if we get caught during smuggling, it says that they can basically take everything, and I imagine uh, arrest this guy. Oh! I got busted, boss. Had to ditch the cargo, and they still got me. Talk about a bad day. Literally. Okay. So he's arrested now. You can release arrested employees by paying their bail. Oh, boy. How do we do that? This employee is in jail and can't do any work. Jail visits. Bail out for 2000 bucks. Holy moly. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Well, let's get him out. Guess we can call ourselves partners in crime. So that was a really low chance and we got dinged hard. And that was a ton of our stock. That is very unfortunate. Um, this is coming in right now. So, like, a bunch of these plants are finishing. New competition in Flint. I'll deal with that in a bit. Family comes from New York, where she previously worked. I don't know, man. <laughs> That's crazy. They got busted. Wow. 
right in line. Okay, no, nothing, nothing sketchy there. He gained experience. Um, yeah, let's have him in selling. You can, we'll have these guys like specialized. Rent change. What the hell's going on here? Rent's up by a hundred bucks. Competition strength increased at meal one burger. I wonder if it's worth just going legal here so that we don't have to deal with that competition. Also, this guy needs to be on all these duties again. So I guess he got removed. And I wonder like, I have a dispensary here, but I'm not selling anything. We can sell to the, to the epilepsy patients, but yeah, see like the, they have higher quality stuff, so they're not going to buy from us at all. Interesting. Very interesting. How close are we with our employees here? We might want to just try and reduce some of the competition. If I, if I try to sabotage, which is lower all their ratings. Uh, let's just pick one for a second. Yeah, we have to pay for this or threaten them. But if we have them do this, I just have to make sure we're doing it at the right place. Posh Estate. Okay. And what group is it? Weed not war. Okay. Posh estate. Help me as a friend. All right, he's in. So, if I can do that with each of my employees, that'll take a significant hit, and eventually we can get them out of there, and we can sell in town. Okay, he's terrible at math. Aren't we all, buddy? Aren't we all? Family. Family's very important. Let's hit that again. Used to live downtown. Oh, what was that like, feigning interest? One more chat. Concerned about health. Okay, we can talk about health another time. I need your help convincing these guys at the posh estate. Okay, deadly. 40 left. That's still quite a bit, but over time we can get rid of it. I feel like our relationship with him should be, like, amazing because we bailed him out. Relationship is neutral. Getting up there. Give me something here, Jared. He's not giving me any action. Tell me about yourself. Ah, okay. Wow. Just trying to be buds. Uh, he's going to get bored here. Yeah. All right. Fine. We're not going to get any action out of him. It's all good. It's all good. So we won't make any sales there. Uh, but we can try our smuggling option again if we want. All right. Mark just got a promotion. So he wants a little bit of extra money. I feel like that's fair. Let's go 550. Good. Thank you. And uh, we're going to try this one again. 16%. I'll remove this so it's even a little bit lower. But we need to be selling it, so let's go. <laughs> if he gets caught again, Jared, he'll be quitting or I'll fire him. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. The chances are pretty low, but you know, I played a lot of XCOM, so I know what I know what low chances are like. Almost guarantees every time. Alright, so we're good here. New information despises co-workers for being lazy. Okay. So we've now spent this is $8,000 investigating her. Maybe the bribe at $8,000 would have worked. We could have saved some time, but nice. Okay. So she was degraded from New York Police Department and forced to move to Flint due to a critical misconduct in an important criminal case. 
Uh, she hides this information at all costs, as it can cause the morale of Flint cops to plummet into the ground. Okay, cool. Um, okay, let's head back to Flint. So, now we can go to her. Let's just make sure that this is selling. I should probably sell it up here, too. Um, let's get rid of the stock that we have. We are dipping into the negatives here every once in a while, which concerns me. Oh, right. Okay, so this place, we have the license. This place, we don't. All right, let's stick with this then. And I'm going to up the price a bit. I can have the, just these guys buy it and make more money, I think. So that's fine. Has a lot of friends among higher-ups. Okay, I don't know if we need him gathering info anymore. But what I do want to do is now use this information. Get rid of one of the officers. Let's say Sullivan. Help me or else, so that's now available. It's going to greatly harm our relationship. Don't play dumb. You're going to help me. I'll make sure everyone learns your little secret. All right, cool. Uh, Sullivan's fired. Someone will take the vacancy. Blackmail successful, but super hostile. That kind of makes a lot of sense. We needed that cash. We're kind of running into the red here. And uh, we're going to have to figure out how to sort that out soon. Because we're seeing these major dips. Um, but if we can get some, some of the blue dream growing in this area, that'd be much better. DIY scrubber. So police vigilance reduction pretty good. Expensive. This is in uh, grow up level two. So this does uh, temperature and humidity. It's very expensive though. Mint zone. New officer. All right, we made it this far, but I can't live with this kind of stress. We need to cover our asses better. Are you okay? Your anxiety kicking in? Always thought Fernandez had it in for us, but I didn't think she'd call down a full-blown SWAT operation on our asses. This is on a whole new level. Okay, breathe. I'm here. It's just a problem. We're going to figure this out. One way or another, we need to get off the police's radar. Going fully legal is the safest way, but it'll hurt our revenue. We could keep working in both legal and illegal markets, but our legal grows will bring extra scrutiny for our illegal operations. Tim Gable. Okay, so lots happening right now. We need to reduce police vigil vig <laughs> vigilance in all illegal places to low or get rid of all illegal activities in both cities. Well, in Boulder, we're all legal there. So the other options are... We either reduce the vigilance... We're, we're high here, but maybe we could talk to this new officer. Let's see, Mr. Gable. D-E-J. <laughs> all right, let me introduce myself. Let's, uh, let's become best buds here. Okay. Can you give me anything? Nothing. All right. How about business? You like business? Doesn't even understand the basics of economy. Me neither, buddy, but let me help you. Education's important. Well, those things seem to tie together pretty well. Smoke pot in college. Classic. Prefers sativa to indica. Has never... Something sketchy here, Tim. You smoke pot in college, but you're saying you never smoked weed. All right, we're friends. That's all I need. Hey, uh, turn a blind eye on what I'm doing here, please. Deadly. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, where are we at here? Vigilance is high here. Okay, so I thought it was saying low before, but I think it's because of all the temporary vigilance, right? What's happening here? I don't win this round at meal one burger. Don't give up easily. Tough times. Tough times. Um, so we could try to reduce this to low. That's going to take some time. This is medium, but we have a, a legal license there. This is medium. We could just buy licenses to go legal. Um, this is low. 
if we go legal here, we have to make sure that we have enough um, that 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 group will want, right? So they'll they'll buy Blue Dream, they'll buy Granddaddy Purple. We're still growing Super Lemon Haze, and they'll buy that too. So that's actually not bad. Um, let's do it. We're gonna go legal here. And let's make sure that we have this priced. Oh, nice. They're not buying anything else. So I'm going to try to put my prices a little bit higher. The rating it slightly lower. Eh. I'll go just a bit higher. I'm feeling nice. And here, do we buy a license? Just go all out. Okay. Oh, I see why that happened. Because, um... The only place that we had Vigilance was this one, and it was already low, so done. So now we've unlocked a Supermart Generator. Gives you even more control of your grow room's conditions. So it looks like it does uh, temporary Vigilance reduction on a 100-day cooldown. Go Grow LEDs. 120 grams. 6 degree for temperature, though, and very expensive. Needs hydroponics, three month grow time, 10% uh, in uh, reduction of quality, but adds humidity. Okay. Nice job getting the law off our backs. I think we're in the clear, and you know what that means. Time to expand again. In the Wall Street way, you think we're ready? If we can make enough money two months in a row, we'll have enough cheddar to open up a major city. Let's take this thing national. Okay. <laughs> nice. So, uh, he said two months, but this is showing us three. But we need to generate 36000 in total income from legal sales within three consecutive months. Or illegal sales in three consecutive months. Okay. We unlock new perks as well. These are like, we're, we're riding the bubble here for uh, cost right now. So, I'm a little bit concerned. Um about changing anything too dramatically. I'd like to have a bit of a cushion here. Now, we are selling illegally over here, but this is the only place that we're selling our Super Lemon Haze, right? Yeah, it is. We're making a little bit more money over here, actually, on the uh, on the Granddaddy Purple. 16 bucks compared to 15 on this side. Um, but what I could do is I could sell my my blue dream here exclusively and I could probably get a lot more money out of this look I put this up to 20 bucks they're still rating as a 1.5 it's way over their threshold so I want to keep an eye on how often they're buying there if at all okay they're still buying that's good minus taxes of course all right so, it's going to take us a little bit to get up here, but if we can just build up some surplus of cash... I'm just going to run this for a month here. Maybe two. At this sped up time, well, I can't even sell it faster than our guys are doing it, so... 13605. That's pretty good. Let me hit the end of February and we'll see where we're at. Um, we are going to have to smuggle more in. And so this temporary smuggling situation um, is okay. I guess we're selling the blue dream up here. But are we selling it? We're selling this at a hit, aren't we? That's 20 bucks. That's not bad. It is selling. It is doing okay. So, and I think because we it's, it's all an epic now, um, we're doing quite well. Maybe what we do is we send over, like, small batches. So it gets a little bit riskier when we do it more, right? It would be this, this same batch. Man, that just doesn't feel good. What if I do UPS mail... 25, 15. All right, let's go. Send a small batch over there. And I think with this amount of money, 
we could uh, pretty reliably... Nice, nice, nice. We can pretty reliably set up some new stuff over there. I'm going to accept this. I've been kind of humming and hawing about it, but it's influence in either way. It's $19,000. You need something with pain relief. And uh, pretty sure Granddaddy Purple is going to be his jam. Which we're already making in the other place. So let's go hit that. Now, this place is legal. I can get rid of this tea room, right? Looks like it's increased this a bit, but because it's legal, I don't think that that matters. Also, we have this shady dude up here. He'll buy anything. It's 13,000. I kind of think that... Hmm. It's a lot of money. I wonder if that impacts these uh, total monthly sales as well. I wonder. Hmm. Okay, we're starting to build. This is good. I'm going to assign an additional grow room here. Or additional slot in our grow room. And I think maybe we get out of the super lemon haze business. And we start growing our own blue dream here. Because this city has tons of blue dream customers. kind of soil do we want? Do we want to upgrade our grow here, maybe? 12,000. It's expensive, man. So expensive. That's half of our stuff just to get into the advanced, um, or sorry, into the improved upgrades. I think that might be pushing it a little bit. I'm going to try and play it Cool here. Now, what I'm interested in is, let's see, our blue dream here wants to be at 24 and 60, okay? This equipment, this purifier, I don't think I need anymore. We don't war trucks blocking our ramps. What's going on, Gramps? Daisy flowers, is there a problem? I'm sure there's been a misunderstanding. It's not your ramp, our drivers will move when they're finished. Motivations decrease. Comp okay, motivation of employees in this place is decreased. Competition strength is increased. Great. Uh, since we're legal, I don't think we need this. I can actually turn this into a uh, humidifier. And we want to be at 60. And 24. For Blue Dream. Uh, let me just double check something with the medium. I'm really curious to see what would happen with our quality if we put this in here instead. I'm going to see after we water what's going to happen there. And I'll start removing these. Twenty-four and sixty, so we're still good. Just want to see how this quality impacts if we still have all of our MPKs and stuff correct. Boom. Okay. So, hmm, interesting. So. It's at a minus 15% for quality, but because we're hitting everything else, it still can be perfect. Now, that's interesting to me. But this is adding humidity every time we add one. So watch, we're at 60 here. Let's say I add another blue dream um, in this setup. So 54 to 70. Can I drag this? Yeah, nice. 55 to 71 and you can see like our range of of uh humidity is dropping every time because this little setup is actually adding humidity to the whole situation 
So as long as I can be at 60, I'm pretty happy. And these ones, I want them to finish because uh, I don't want to waste the, the time that we invested. And I can do three more and still have 60, which is, I think, pretty good. Um, this one I can do as like a regular grow. But now these are going to be growing way faster, which means ultimately uh, more money. So I'm good with that. Okay, get out of there. And the reason we want to do this is because... Um, let's see. Oh, okay. So that... Okay. So that puts me... Hmm, I do have to reduce a little bit more. That messes us up slightly. Hmm. I could turn this into another humidifier, I suppose, and just do it like this. And I think even still with the advanced uh, or the faster grows, I think we're still in a really good spot. Some of these are showing as uncommon because we messed up the temperatures mid-growth. Um, but this should be pretty bang on now. Um, all of these ex all these new ones should be coming in as um, as rare. So that's cool. Over time, the quality will improve. Okay, so we're generating uh, just eleven thousand dollars right now, but um, we just had some huge investments, and we're going to be changing over our grows a little bit. So SLH's run out and isn't produced. That's good. I'm actually going to clear this out of here. And I may even just close our operations here. Any of our illegal operations, I'm going to shut down. So we don't even have to consider it. And what I'll do is um, we don't need the tea room here. I'll maybe add a second dispensary. Let's see for Granddaddy Purple because we're still growing that. These guys really like it. Yeah, let's add a second dispensary here. And we can sell the perps. Oh, right. Okay, but because it's legal, it's a, it, I shouldn't say legal in the cleanest sense because recreational and medical are very different. So this means I'm only selling to these two groups here. I'm only selling to them. Um, which is fine. It's, it gives us more options. It'll be good for if there's competition. And... Yeah, I think that's okay. Do I want to do the same thing here, I wonder? Do I want to go two spots? Sell both. So we're going Blue Dream, Granddaddy Purple, Granddaddy Purple, and we're going Blue Dream at the other place that we can smuggle in if we really want. Um, let's take a look at our, at our other order here, and then I'll wrap it up. Fairly decent. She wants uh, 800 grams of any strain, common, but it has to have the floral effect. My name is Miranda. I work in the field of medicine and cosmetics. Due to political changes and increased interest in marijuana, as a self-taught perfumist, I like to create a scented marijuana oil. Please let me know if you can supply me with the necessary product. Floral. I'm going to accept this, but what's what has a floral quality? Mistress Star. Oh, Mistress Star has it. Mistress Star has this. And we have all of the um, optimal conditions for it already. I can't remember where we got that, but... It doesn't matter. We, we've got it. So if we want to do a grow specific for her... Uh, that's not bad. We have to get it up and out of here within 12 months, though. Hmm. Huh. That's something to consider. Alright. I'm gonna do another, uh... Another run of cargo here. And then we'll wrap it up for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're having a good time. Uh, we should be able to get uh, our operation up to the point where we're generating this income relatively soon. And 
Nice. And when that happens, then uh, who knows what's next. But we could go sell if we want to this guy. But uh, yeah, there's always stuff to do. Always stuff to do. Okay, I'm stopping now because otherwise I'll, I will not stop. See you in the next one. Bye for now.